what is up? It's Natasha and I'm here with a new video. I'm going to the handmade market again. I've gone to this market I think like two times in my vlogs. So I'm excited to show you guys this again and hopefully there's some new viewers who haven't seen my last market vlogs and you want to know what it's like. Let's go see. So to the market, I'm wearing this blue, um, I guess you could call it overall jumpsuit. And then this white long sleeve crop top. I got this jumpsuit from um, a thrift store and it was like $20 and originally this brand it's called Wilfred and Free I think and originally it's like 150 and I got it for like 20 so nice. I woke up feeling hungry. I got some warm lemon water and a coffee which I still haven't finished. It was a nice coffee, but there's no more ice in it, so not really a nice coffee. Anyways, um, so I drink some of that, and now my stomach is feeling like horrible. Like I feel like I'm gonna hurl. It's really bad. So I haven't eaten anything yet, and it's it's 9:53, and haven't eaten anything, and I feel like horrible. So uh, I took Advil for my headache too, and hasn't been working. But we'll see, um, I'm gonna pack maybe some food, like some nuts or something to the market. And hopefully I don't get hungry when I'm there. Cause it's worse when you're not hungry when you wake up, you leave, or when you leave you're hungry. It's like, great, thanks body. Also it's like super hot in my room right now. So I had the window open. I don't know if you could hear it, but it feels so nice. And I, okay, I'll show you my jewelry. So I got this bracelet from like a little, market thingy as well like I can get the same brand at the market because it's like a handmade I didn't really explain it yet it's a handmade market that everyone just like makes their stuff themselves and sells it which is a great idea to make money so I got one of these bracelets and hopefully I can find some more um my sister got this for me for Christmas from a Toronto one the market in Toronto and this is just from a friend and yeah that's all my jewelry Got some earrings as well, but that's, my earrings are always the same. Okay guys, so I'm about to leave. This is the full outfit. I think you guys already saw, but I just want to show again because I love this. So cute, this is the first time wearing this. And I'm going to be wearing this leather, fake leather backpack from Calvin Klein. Ooh. Okay, and I'm heading out. So we made it here and we're parking on the side of the road because we don't want to pay for parking. And <laughs> that's not the truth. <laughs> I got all my money in this little pocket. This pocket. No, nice and easy. <laughs> you match with everything. Look at all, like with the um, oh, all the uh, what's it called? Dandy lions. Oh, I'm falling. Yellow. Yellow's my color. I got blue hair. Finally, spring. <laughs>
And look at our feet, covered in mud. Oh, we got our food. It's a big lineup. Let's see your pizza bowl. Hey guys, what's up? market it's actually a couple days later and I want to show you guys all that I got so I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got for myself and then leave it with the stuff that I got for other people so first off um, there's this one person who sells their stuff name is Jilly Jilly I guess um, I got this magnesium cream literally smells like heaven so mm. Smells so good, and apparently you don't get magnesium in your diet anymore. So she made a cream and a spray. You just spray it on like, the back of your neck, your thighs, or your your chest. And but I'm just gonna use it for my hands because my hands get really dry, and I love the smell of it. Her, I got this soap. It smells amazing. It's um, olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, shea butter. A lye, water, wild strawberries, and essential oils of sweet orange. So good. What I love about her is that she puts all of her stuff in these little bags that her mom makes. I still have the same one that I got from her last year. And it's funny because she remembered me from last year. She's like, oh, I remember your last year, the one with the YouTube, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. So guess she's seen the last video and remembers me videotaping her stuff because I really liked it and her shea butter is really nice. And then Sarah Soaps, oh my gosh, I love Sarah. She's probably watching this right now, but Sarah Soaps is the best. I have so many of her products. Her soaps are amazing. Um, I got this new thing that she just came out with. It is a um, poplar and cedar wood candle so it's not really a candle you it is a candle you light it and then you wait till it melts all around and then you put your fingers in it take some of the oil and then give yourself like a massage um it's really hydrating and soothes the skin i tried it there haven't used it yet in my house but i tried it in her little booth and it was so nice i probably showed some video clips of that but i'm excited to try this because it's really nice before you go to bed and the scents are since it was Mother's Day this Monday, I got my mom some stuff from Matter, which is based in Toronto, and they're just a herbal company, and I got this sugar scrub. It's made with brown sugar and a bunch of different oils and, and stuff and berries, and vitamin E. It's really good, and she I made this scrub for her this one time with coconut oil, sugar, and frankincense oil. And she really liked that, so I decided just to get her this, and maybe I'll make her one of those scrubs too, because she really liked the one that I made. It was like really natural, eco friendly, and she loved it. So, I'll probably make more of those, or maybe I'll make a video for you guys. And I also got her this from Matter. It's a heat rub for after sports rub. Um, it's made it a like mustard oil. It smells kind of funky, but. She gets like a joint pain in her hands and she has a lot of inflammation. So this would help with her 
So I got that. It's just like a little thin tin. And I realized it has beeswax in it. She's not vegan, but I am, so I shouldn't be supporting that. But didn't realize that till I came home. But they're all organic, all organic stuff and cruelty free. So still happy about that. And she loved the gift. So I'm excited for her to try these out. And I will for sure be using the sugar scrub in the shower as well. Okay, so now since for, um, Father's Day is in June, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I should probably know this. But yeah, I got my dad, oh my gosh, my back kind of hurts from sitting this way. Ooh. So I got my dad a gift because this phone's going off right now, so hopefully he doesn't hear me. I got him a gift for Father's Day early because I didn't want to have to like buy him something. When I saw this, I was like, he's gonna love it. So, and his birthday is like the day after, so it's a birthday gift and a Father's Day gift. So I got him in this, it's a, he's awake right now. He was just sleeping. I hope he doesn't come in. Okay, so I got him this, re it's um, used to be a, it's made out of a recycled um, beer bottle. So they just melted it into this shape and it's an old beer bottle and he always drinks beer in his glasses, in his own glasses that he has and I realized this would be such a good gift because I've been looking at it for so long. Every time I go to the market, I have my eyes on this. They're called um, Art Tech Glass Studios and this is their thing. And I would always, every time I go to the market, I always look at the shanks. I'm like, this stuff is so cool. Like it's literally reused glass beer bottles and turned into glasses that you can reuse all the time. So I thought that was so sick. And I finally, finally, finally bought him one. So I'm really excited for him to see this. I don't want to wait till June. It's only a month away. Not that big of a deal. But it says, life is too short to drink cheap beer. I think you'll really like this. And it's so sick that it's made out of like a reused glass, um, a reused beer bottle. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm so glad I got in this. It was like 21 bucks. Then I'll maybe get something else, we'll see. From that same brand, um, I got myself a glass um, straw. Because I don't have a glass straw yet. I have a metal one, I have plastic ones that are reusable, but those obviously aren't good. But I have metal ones, and I decided to get a glass one, and it comes with a cleaner. So, I guess they made these themselves, and you can put it in the dish, in the dishwasher. So I'm really excited for these because you can see through it when you drink a smoothie. You can see through it to see if there's any like crud or crud, I don't know if that's a word. There's like nasties in it. Some nasty moldy smoothie left over. And you can clean it out with this, put it in the dishwasher, boom. So this is really good. It was like only like 10 bucks I think. And you can use it all the time. And I hate it when people get mad. I dislike it, strongly dislike it when people get mad about people like restaurants having um, paper straws because because they get soggy and stuff, it's like, if they start getting soggy, ask for a new one, or just don't use a straw. You don't need a straw. Like, how old are you? You don't need a straw anymore. You can drink your glass like this. Like, it's not that hard. But sometimes we like to use straws. So if you really want a straw, just get a glass one or metal one. Five bucks, so cheap, literally. And just clean it out once in a while. You probably should every time. If you're using it for smoothies, yeah, clean it out every time. Um, I really recommend the glass one so you can see through it. I'm excited to use this, just not excited for it to break. Because I break glass very easily. I think pretty much the last thing I got. I really hope she's not watching this. My life group leader at church, I, she's having a baby. So I got her, got her this. For her baby, it's so cute. It's so bubber. So I got her this little unicorn pillow for the baby. And the baby's a girl, obviously. But it has like, it's all handmade from Lily and Lodi. Um, yeah, so there's just like all these different prints on it, like floral. And it's so cute. I'm so excited for her to have it. I just put it in her room because the room is so cute right now too. It's like all white. So this would be a little pop color in the corner. 
Also, I got some vintage underwear. Well, it's, they were discounted. It was $20 for a pair of underwear. Um, they're handmade and vintage inspired. They're really cute. Called the Ginger Bikini, inspiration from the 30s. Um, her her name is Inspiration Vintage. New clothes inspired by the past, and she makes them all herself. Really cute. They were discounted because there's a little bit of stain on it on the side, but I couldn't even tell, so I was like, I'm just gonna get it. And I, I wanted to get the matching bra too, but the bra was 40 bucks, so I was like, not doing that. But I wanted to support her because she makes it all herself, and I thought it was really cute. And I really love vintage clothing. Um, so I thought it'd be cute to get that. Sorry guys, but I also forgot to show these. This is my exfoliating cream cleanser I got from Matter. And then I have this butterfly weed, which is eucalyptus herbal body oil for, it's like a bug spray, just a natural bug spray. And they're both by Matter. So I've been using the, the facial exfoliator. It's really nice. And she says that the exfoliator is very light, so it doesn't scratch the surface of your skin, but it's still really exfoliating. So, that's pretty much it for the vlog. I hope this um, setup is okay for you guys to be listening to me. I kind of look like a wreck. My hair needs to be washed. I don't understand how people can go five days without washing their hair. If you're wondering what I'm wearing right now, this is a thrifted little bralette and thrifted, um, I call this like a little spring shirt. I think it's really cute. Um, you probably would have seen it in my other vlogs. I, I show a lot of my thrifted stuff. So plan is to do a thrifted spring lookbook when it actually gets nice out. It's really rainy in May and I'm really disappointed because it's really cold too. So hopefully we can get some nice weather soon and I can do like a thrifted lookbook for spring and summer. Really excited for that. I just need help on filming it because I need a filmer. I need someone to help me. Anyways, maybe I can do it by myself. We'll see. Let's see if I'm confident enough to walk around the city with a camera by myself. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like watching these kind of hauls, like a natural handmade market haul. So let me know if you like to keep watching these. I'll keep doing them whenever I have them around that I can drive close to. Um, yeah, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment down below what your favorite thing was in the vlog that I got. And if you were at the market, let me know what you got. Also, shout out to Sarah Soaps. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you in my next one.